music has been so disrespected and when you hear people like you know victor wooten and, and big musicians eric clapton just people talk about it all the time how much it's been degraded so i think like music is unlike anything else it's mathematical it's magical it's um ceremonial it's uh it taps into the soul to those feelings you know um in ways that a lot of things can't and when you look at the enhancement that music brings to like movies mm -hmm. you know things like that um it's a really powerful tool so for awakening for for conscious ex expansion <laughs> I just think it's really neat that you can really affect mood by just those little subtle dynamics and songs like that. Yeah, I love it. I, I um, While you were playing that, especially when you were strumming and leaving the gap, all of a sudden in my third eye, I saw a great big white Persian cat and a woman's hand reaching out to stroke the cat with each time you stroke the chords, oh. the cat got stroked and the cat started to purr and it looked right at me with its big eyes <laughs> so you know that's neat too because cats are very therapeutic for traumatized people yeah and i think that right there the imagery that just came to you think of it as an artist or a poet music is so influential in that creation process because it sets this mind canvas that, you know going mm -hmm. into that imagination land and uh i think music is so inspiring for a lot of you know, production, creativity, all those types of things. I just think it's really cool. Yeah, you know, and we're really, we're really talking a lot about the spirit of music, right? The 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 healing power, the creativity, the flow of it, and just the depth and the dimension of it, and you know how it can be used to touch you emotionally. It can be used to express concepts or ideas i mean it's vast as you know of course you know yeah but it, the, the the reason i'm bringing that up is because sadly we're really experiencing the death of music um and this is something that you've expressed concern to me and and you know interestingly enough i had listened to victor wooten's a uh, fairly recent book, The Spirit of Music. Uh, I'd, I'd studied his book, The Music Lesson, very thoroughly. I probably went through it three times because yeah. it was such a profound book. And in, in The Spirit of the Music, he, he really, in The Spirit of Music, he talks about how all the digital recording and all the, uh, he gives an example. He says, you know, when you, the difference between listening to music the way it's supposed to be listened to like we would have listened to it around a campfire or or to play together in tribes or 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 just you know getting together to make music he says if if you take that experience and put it on a one square foot sheet of paper he says by the time the music industry has taken that and put it onto something that you can listen to on your headphones and your iphone you're you're down to about one square centimeter of that paper. Yeah, and so he talks about how it's it's really deadening the experience. And then, you know, he's also talking about a lot of the things. And it's funny because I I like to watch documentaries on famous musicians because I love music, but I love their stories. I love their yeah. personal story. You know, like uh, some of my favorites are you know some good good videos on Roy Orbison and, and his music is so profound and a lot of it's about the pain he went through and Linda Ronstadt is another just amazing musician and their music is it's so dynamic and so rich and so full and and for me having had the experience of listening to their music on a really good stereo system on a CD which has got a quite a density uh, it's quite it's quite a high density file and then listening to that to hear that on on a digital format like i i know when i hook my iphone for example to my stereo it's like someone just flattened the whole thing out yeah you know versus yeah. versus a cd but you know a high quality record player which i used to have a 
a beautiful exotic stereo with a record player with a turntable and that was an, another dimension uh, altogether um but Victor Wooten, of course, is, is really concerned about how the music industry is really just taking the spirit out of music. Yeah. And then there's all these other issues uh, of them using music to manipulate people's minds and, and the changing of the frequencies. So maybe you can comment on what your thoughts, feelings, and concerns are, and also, you know, the difference between music. Like, you see, you just created music spontaneously, I just started singing spontaneously. I'd never heard you do that before. I, those words just flowed out of me. I just didn't block them. I just right. let them go because yeah. they wanted to come out. And I thought, well, that's what we're here to do. Um, and then, you know, and then there's the other issue, you know, the, all these algorithms. And, and the, I'll tell you what, I got to admit something. Yeah. I have a fucking problem with this algorithm concept. Everywhere I go, I mean, I've been a therapist for a long time, and ever since they started getting computers involved in therapy, there's just algorithm, algorithm, algorithm. I'm like, I don't frickin' want to hear about your algorithms. For a simple reason, algorithms are typically made out of mass averages. Right. So, you know, if you want to do a, a calorie counter for somebody, you, you say, okay, you know, let's take a 1,000 people and see how much calories they burn. And then you have some people that are burning a lot and some that are burning hardly any. So your algorithm is kind of like an average of that. Right. And the analogy I give people for that is to show them how dangerous that is. They say, look, I learned this studying Marie-Louise von Franz, uh, who was Jung's assistant for a long, long time. Very, very smart. She said, do you realize that in a, in a pile of stones that has 10 tons of stone in it, with an average weight of two kilograms, you may never find a two kilogram stone if you look through those stones individually. Wow. Right? So yeah. if you think about it, imagine imagine like two dump truck loads full of stone with an average weight of two kilograms, but you can't find a single two kilogram stone. Why is that important? Because each of us is an individual. Yes. So we represent <clears throat> that two kilogram stone but here the algorithm is supposed to be representing us but we're not there yeah we're not being addressed we're not even being addressed right so what what happens is it takes you know it's like following a recipe card to do therapy I, mm -hmm. you know and that's one of the things that's been so challenging for my students because they're used to being told what to do all the time right but I, I'm saying I'm not here to tell you what to do because in order to do that I'd have to be there with you for every single client and then I'd be doing the therapy and so what would be the point you know each individual, you know, we can say, okay, they've got pain or they've got imbalance or they have um, a relationship crisis to work through or any number of things. But if we put them into an algorithm, we take away the human connection and then now you've got robotic therapy. As that's the closest you could come. Right. And, and that would be like having a robot for a cat instead of that Persian cat that I saw that purrs and looks me in the eyes and, and knows there's a relationship going on. Right. And so, uh, you know, as a musician, it's certainly got to be, well, instead of saying what it's got to be, what does it do to you? <laughs> <laughs> what happens to you when you, when you watch all this in the news and you hear about it, you witness it, not to mention what you've told me earlier is that now they're just using it to rip musicians off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a lot here. I want to say Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> no, no. I filled your cup up. Yeah, you did. You did. So, let's go back real quick to talk about Victor Wooten. First of all, bass player, Bela Fleck, Fleck Tones, all I mean, just tremendous musician. Mm -hmm. Um amazing guy. I yeah. love I love lo watching interviews with him. Uh but what I was going to say is I remember seeing an interview with him talking about them touring Africa. You mm -hmm. know, they went on an African tour and he was talking about the difference of the way people received the music. Mm -hmm. And he said that the entire village came out and that they cooked and they danced and they they talked and communicated and had this huge open free expression and everyone was excited. And then he talked about going on tour in the US or Europe and how different people were to receive the music, that it was almost a ceremonial, ritualistic um, embrace 
in Africa, you know, in that each small village that they toured, like everyone in the village came out, everyone. And it was just a celebration, dancing, all of that. So I get that because when you look as a modern musician, I, you know, I've talked to friends about this because music has been so disrespected. Um, there's two things in that for me. One, the, the studio has become such an instrument, and so I'm able to convey so much as one person in the studio and to create this, um, the music and the way that it comes from my heart and my soul and can interpret it for the world to receive it that way. Um, it's such a playground, you know. Mm -hmm. There's people that I've brought into the studio and teaching them how to do these things and about an hour in, they're like, dude, I could get lost in here for days. And I was like, I do. I, yeah. do, get, I do get yeah. lost in here for days. Mm -hmm. But my point is, is just music has been so disrespected. And when you hear people like, you know, Victor Wooten and, and big musicians, Eric Clapton, just people talk about it all the time, how much it's been degraded. So I think like music is unlike anything else. It's mathematical. It's magical. It's um, ceremonial. It's uh, it taps into the soul, to those feelings, you know, um, in ways that a lot of things can't. And when you look at the enhancement that music brings to like movies, mm -hmm. you know, things like that, um, it's a really powerful tool. So for awakening, for for consciousness expansion, 